In terms of the Mayor's plans for, for reducing pollution in London, uh, obviously it's very commendable. And with TfL being one of the biggest uh, fleet operators in London, the onus is on us to make sure that our vehicles are clean and efficient and as uh, least polluting as possible. We volunteered for the Aminex trial, uh, firstly because we'd had some dealings previously with ammonia generation um, and the project looked quite simple to us and for me as an engineer actually ticked a few boxes in terms of reducing pollution with AdBlue and other issues we had across our site. So we set off on an initial uh, six month trial and that vehicle is still now in service three years later. The cartridge changes take 30 seconds perhaps and the knock-on maintenance costs which we pick up with AdBlue which is failing knock sensors, we have issues with injectors, AdBlue pumps, so on and so forth, quite expensive items. None of that with the Aminex system. In our operation, especially in the areas of London we operate where there is a huge amount of congestion, it was really important that the process started at a much lower temperature, which the Aminex product has shown that it does. On my phone, every morning, I can go in and I can track how many vehicles are on the road, uh, the NOx reduction that's taken place that day, that week, that month, that year. And I think it's all good in terms of propaganda for informing people of what's going on. Currently, we operate a fleet of around about 1,700 vehicles, of which, at this present time, about 620 are hybrids. We're also quite lucky that we're involved in the first uh, trial of electric double-deck vehicles in London, which have been operating now for about 18 months, nearly two years. We're also, next year, 2019, we'll be involved in a large-scale rollout of hydrogen buses as well. So Metroline is fairly well placed in terms of a variety of new technologies to, uh, I suppose, move forward in London.